Hello friends, I am Rashmi. Welcome to SRS Info. Today we are going to start a new subject that is Pharmaceutical Chemistry 1 which is coming under the syllabus of first year DPharm. Today we will just understand about some basic fact and introduction of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Okay, so what do you understand by the term chemistry? Chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the composition, quality and other characteristics of matter. Like that, pharmaceutical chemistry deals with the characteristics, the composition, the quality, etc. of those substances which are used in medicines, the chemistry related to medicine. And this pharmaceutical chemistry includes inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, medicinal chemistry, analytical chemistry, physical chemistry and radiochemistry. All these branches of chemistry includes in pharmaceutical chemistry. Okay. Next, one of the most important topic, the factor we have to understand in pharmaceutical chemistry is pharmacopoeia. Every pharmacist should know about pharmacopoeia. What is pharmacopoeia? Basically, the pharmacopoeia word is derived from two Greek words. One is pharmacon, next is poio. Pharmacon means a drug or a medicine. Poio means to make. So, this is the list of drugs and medicinal substances with the direction for making preparation from them and simply we can say that this is the book of standards which is applicable to drugs and their common dosage forms and pharmaceutical aids published in a country under the authority of its own government this is the important fact the pharmacopoeia are published under the authority of government of the particular country this is the book of standards those standards which are applicable to drugs and their common dosage forms and pharmaceutical aids okay and all these are published in a country under the authority of government and nowadays most of the advanced countries have their own pharmacopoeia like indian pharmacopoeia british pharmacopoeia united states pharmacopoeia etc so while you make a drug in india the directions are followed according to indian pharmacopoeia okay and those substances are used is also mentioned in Indian pharmacopoeia and when you make a drug in Britain then we have to follow the British pharmacopoeia whatever the country they have to follow the directions and suggestions the ingredients the preparation form everything which is mentioned in the pharmacopoeia of that particular country now let us understand some movements some developments in the pharmacopoeia the first British pharmacopoeia was published in the year 1864 Basically, the history of pharmacopoeia started many years back, even in 52nd AC, like that. And it was initiated in China. At that time, there was city pharmacopoeia was available. The pharmacopoeia for a particular city or town. Okay. Do you hear the word monograph? What do you mean by monograph? It is a written details or specification about a specific subject or matter okay so at that time pharmacopoeia was considered as just like a monograph that is city pharmacopoeia we can say okay but later uh, later on it was developed into a standard book standard preparation clear and the first british pharmacopoeia was published in the year 1864 then pharmacopoeia internationalis was published by who european economic community started the initiative to publish european pharmacopoeia all these are the national and international developments took place in the field of pharmaceutical chemistry. And what was the necessity or what was the need or objective to make such initiative? The main objective to do this effort was to provide a unified list to avoid the confusion caused by differing national standards, strength and names, especially to the travelers who may need to have the same prescription dispensed in different countries. Very important. Okay. So when a person travel internationally, there may be a possibility of having some confusion when the national standards are being changed. The prescription details, everything may be changed. So to avoid these types of confusion, it is very necessary to make a unified list to avoid this confusion. And this is mainly focused to international travelers also. Okay. Then the main remarkable historical developments in the field of pharmacopoeia 
are started in 16th century. Okay, since 16th century, pharmacopoeia have gradually acquired authority status where they were published. Okay, if the pharmacopoeia was published in Britain, then it had to be taken the authority of British government. And the precursor of British pharmacopoeia, what was the precursor? The that was pharmacopoeia londinensis, which was published in London. This is an example of city pharmacopoeia, okay, in the earlier time. Then this pharmacopoeia londinensis was the precursor of British pharmacopoeia, which was published in 1864, okay. But the precursor was published in 1618. In 1618, the pharmacopoeia londinensis or the London city pharmacopoeia was published and it published many editions also. It was appeared in various editions until 1851 and in 1864 city pharmacopoeias were united of the pharmacopoeias of London, Edinburgh, Dublin, all these cities had their own city pharmacopoeia. But in 1864 the British pharmacopoeia was published by compiling the city pharmacopoeias. Clear? The first British pharmacopoeia was published in 1864 and it also published its second edition in 1867 and it continued this work and they had the successive editions in 1885, 1898, 1914 and 1932. Okay, it started in 1864, second edition 67, then continued the successive editions in 85, 98, 14 and 1932. But there was a major change occurred in 1947. What was it? The General Medical Council of UK decided to make the normal intervals between successive editions to be 5 years. Earlier what was happened is when a patient came then they published a new edition. Then after the work completed of the next edition then the next edition will be published. There was no common interval between these successive editions. But in 1947, the General Medical Council of UK decided to have a common interval between this successive edition and that interval will be 5 years. And this practice started in 1948 with the 7th edition. Here. So, all these historical developments are also important for your exam perspective. So, try to remember as much as you can. The next one is USA Pharmacopoeia. This is a pharmacopoeia of United States of America. The first edition of US Pharmacopoeia was appeared in 1920 and is being published in quinquennial means five years interval. It was published in five years interval but there was a practice of uh, publishing the supplementary edition whenever necessary between this successive edition of five year gap. Okay, The first edition was published in 1920 but the second and the second edition supposed to publish in 1925 but if there is any necessary a patient is required then there were there was the practice of publishing the supplementary editions clear then who initiative was the pharmacopoeia internationalis which includes those list of drugs which were used in the different countries under their pharmacopoeia okay this was the main function of pharmacopoeia internationalis it includes those drugs which is used internationally clear and this was published in two volumes at the first time the first volume was in 1951 and the second volume was 1955 of the first edition okay that there are there were two volumes for the first edition one was published in 1951 the second was in 1955 and the supplementary edition was published in 1959 again there was the necessity for updation the supplementary edition was released in 1959 but the second edition was in 1967 the first edition was in 1951 the second edition was 1967 clear there were two volumes for the first edition in 51 and 55 59 was the supplementary edition the second edition was in 1967 with the supplementary edition in 1951 the third and current edition has three volumes and first volume was in 1979, second in 1981 and third edition is in 1988. This is the third and current edition of Pharmacopoeia Internationalis and this three volumes mentioned about different topic, different subjects. The first volume discussed about general method of analysis of drugs. 
volume second and third discussed about the quality specifications okay the quality specification in respect of who essential drug list many drugs are included in the who essential drug list this means these drugs are, can be used in the essential condition worldwide okay and based on the specification the quality specification mentioned in this essential drug list the second and third volume of pharmacopoeia internationalis has been published clear this was the introduction of pharmaceutical chemistry in the next class we will discuss about indian pharmacopoeia and its explanation details etc hope you enjoyed this video thank you